It feels so different. It doesn't feel very much like day one because they have all been so invested for the past month. I mean, they're, they're down here on their own and I can't see them, but I can hear them, you know, and they come in and chat every once in a while in the office and stuff. So it, it's, they've been here a month, you know, and I know they've been working hard and it, it just, it, it feels different. It feels like uh, how it should feel, like a cycle. It's continuous, it's not so stop, go. And they've just been so committed all summer long to being great that, um, yeah, it's different. It's really cool. Does it seem like it's been a smooth transition for the freshmen? It actually has. Years. I mean, this is the first year that we've ha that you know our our returners have really outnumbered by a long shot our, our newcomers, and they have really set the tone really well. I think you know we had a really focused practice this morning. They they worked really hard. They did some things that were tough, but uh, didn't have the ball much. It was a lot of footwork. Um, and you know that's one of the things you want to gauge is how long can they go? Can they see that this is going to be productive for them and they need to be getting after it still, even though there's no ball involved? And they did, you know. And it's I think you can have a, a really focused energy. And, and last year I think we had uh, just energy and uh, some scattered and dispersed. And I think it's a little bit of youth, you know, and uh, they're starting to grow up a little bit. And it's more of a focused energy now, which is really good. Yeah. This is the same question we were asking you a year ago. The, the poll just came out. You mm -hmm. even discussed that. I haven't even looked at it. No, I, I'm, I'm assuming I know what it is. And um, that is always the way it's going to be until we do something to change it, you know? And so, really, it, it's our hard work and our effort that we put in every day. And yeah, polls don't matter right now, right? It's preseason. So, we're feeling good. What are you hoping to accomplish this preseason? Um, you know, we are getting into systems really early this year, so um, we were, we really want to get a lot of structure and continuity going in in systems. Uh, we're going to have a lot of competition, which we haven't been used to in the past, and so we're deep at every position now, and people got to come in and compete every day, and so we want to make sure that we not only uh, – create that competitive environment but maintain it throughout preseason and, and, and into the regular season so um, yeah so systems create a competitive environment which is going to help us find a lineup in the end so every position's open it's, it's been a decade I was looking it up last night since mm -hmm. we've had an in-state letter winner in volleyball a decade 2003 was, awesome. was the last one Awesome. Obviously, you've got Hannah here mm -hmm. this year. I know she's not just here, so you can say you have a West Virginian on the roster. No. Can you comment a little bit on yeah, your expectations for her? Uh, she is. She will be as able to make an impact from the get-go as anyone else in the group. I mean, she's very gifted athletically. Um, she makes changes really quick. Uh, she. Um, even this morning, we're doing some footwork stuff, and we're, you know, the, some of the way she moved, she needed to change, and she picked it up just like that. She, it, it, you know, just like any player from West Virginia that would come to school here, it runs a little deeper for her, and she, you know, just the way she is, she feels like she's got a lot to bring, and she wants to get out there and represent the state really well, and we're, we're just really excited to have her here. She's, she's a great athlete. Did you see that Jordan Anderson, that, that her soccer background could help her some in volleyball? Oh, with I'm the, sure. With the diving. Oh, and all without that a doubt. Well, just the reaction time and all that kind of stuff. I know, you know, one of the best liberos I've ever seen play the game played shortstop, you know, for softball. And so I, th I think when you, when you've got another skill set and it's a ball sport, you know, I, I think that you can use a lot of that reaction and stuff, especially for defense. You know, that's huge. Or even blocking, you know, for mm -hmm. her, she's a great blocker. So um, we've talked about it a little bit. I know she's thrown around playing her fifth year goalie at Nikki Letter. So. Anna P. I know obviously she had some health injury issues last year. Is she, mm -hmm. is she pretty close to 100% coming into I think she's as close to 100% as she's ever been. I mean, even when she came in as a freshman. So, you know, she, we hooked her up with some doctors, uh, some friends that uh, out in Arizona where she's at, people that we knew. She started seeing them. and has started some exercises that I think are, are helping her a lot, you know, and as long as she stays on top of that, we're, I don't think we need to be careful with her. I think she can do all the things that 
that we're doing and she just needs to stay on her routine but for sure I think she's come back uh, much more stronger and in better shape without doubt.